raise the standard right now. We're <laughs> we are joined now by one of our good friends, a man who has trusted us to be the curators for the 2016 MPSF Championship Trophy, Sean Olmstead. Thanks for letting us hang on to this for hey, a like You a know, year. I did there it is. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 true story. You know, we, the the trophy from the uh, runner-up at Ohio State, I had no idea where it was. And a week ago, I'm upstairs on the third floor, <laughs> and Tom Homo saw me, and he's like, hey, Sean, come in here. Um, you know, walk over there, and he's like, hey, uh, do you finally want to take this trophy downstairs? It was in his corner on his <laughs> desk. And, oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> sure, uh, we'll take it downstairs. So wow. it's uh, now made its way downstairs, but it's nice to know. Like, is that a beanie and all? So yeah. well, getting ready is, for the a, winner? It's a golf. It's a golf, oh, it's a golf. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, okay. It's, but ready, you can it's winter use it. ready. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. For the season. <laughs> for the season. Yeah, and we're excited that uh, you're in studio to release the schedule. So yeah. let, let's go through that schedule and we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Seven road me. games, 15 home games. So uh, let's start with the non-conference. Excuse me, the non-federation. Federation. federation. Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. before we get into the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation schedule. <laughs> uh, as we take a look at this, uh, Sean, you open up uh, at Lewis, at Loyola. Tough road trip in Chicago. McKendry got Concordia, Irvine as well. McKendry again. And then a Tuesday matchup with Princeton. What do you think about the first six? Yeah, I mean. In March. It's a it's a fantastic schedule. We're really really excited about it. Uh, kicking off at uh, Lewis and Loyal are going to be tough opponents in Chicago. Uh, great programs. We had a chance to play against Lewis this past weekend in uh, Las Vegas, and so that was good for our guys. And um, he's a great friend to our program, so he'll be coming out uh, to Provo next year, or I guess a year and a half down the road. And then uh, we're we're at home. We open at home. We have a little uh, unique situation. We've got McKendry coming in early, and uh, they're going to play us on a Thursday. Then we've got Concordia Irvine, who's actually joining the MPSF, so that'll be good for us uh, to get those guys, uh, get our team acclimated to a new team uh, in the MPSF. And then Princeton is a little unique situation. We went out there last year. Um, they're coming out. They've got this spring break, and so we had to fit it in. It's not something we see very often, but uh, it, it was an opportunity for them to return the trip, and we wanted to, you know, make it a little more accommodating to them while they're out here on the. I think they're on a West Coast swing, and so you know, it's going to be a Tuesday night matchup. Like I said, it's not uh, what our BYU fans are used to: volleyball, men's volleyball. But uh, it's a good opportunity for those guys, that school, to come out here, experience BYU, and uh, you know, it's uh, Dave Rose. I think they're opening up with those guys. That's so, right. yeah. so Princeton's going to get a, a lot of BYU here in the next few months. Nobody does spring break like Provo, Utah. Princeton's going to find that out what, in March. What is a well, spring break? I don't think we have spring <laughs> we break. Don't. So it's definitely not our spring break. Yeah. But uh, you know, they'll they'll get to experience uh, some nice weather. I'm sure at that time. Oh yeah. And uh, but they're used to it out there in Princeton. Uh, beautiful campus. We had a great time out there. Really historical campus. Uh, beautiful place. So that's the start of it. Okay. And the uh, Mountain Pacific Sports Federation schedule uh, looks like this. This is the final year of the 12 team MPSF. As you mentioned, Concordia, Irvine, Grand Canyon will join next year, meaning 2018. Uh, so CSUN on the 19th and 20th. Uh, San Diego in town, UCLA for a pair. That's awesome. One match against USC, two against Irvine, uh, two at Stanford, um, Cal Baptist for a single match at Pepperdine for a pair, uh, Hawaii, Long Beach State at home, UC Santa Barbara for a pair. So I really like that uh, you have UCLA, Long Beach State, the two teams, other teams from the conference that made the tourney. This is their time to be in Provo. So that's awesome. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. You know, it's a – it's a great schedule, and it's the, uh, as you mentioned, it's the last federation schedule, we could say, or the, <laughs> the Mountain Pacific uh, Sports Federation. It'll still be around, but it's going to look a little different next year. So uh, there, there's a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful home slate for our fans. I mean, like you said, <laughs> I look at it, and it's always, oh, man, just unbelievable programs. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll, you know, I stayed up last night for the elections later than I should have, and 
now that I see this, I may lose some sleep tonight again. <laughs> no. But it's uh, you look at that, and uh, you spelled Stanford there wrong. Stanford. But, uh, Stanford. It's a different team. I don't Stand know. Stand by know them. Yeah. Stand, yeah, it's too free right down it's the like road. It's like Stanford. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, no, just you look at that and you go, man, what outstanding programs, tradition, teams that were just last year in the final, you know, the in the tournament in the final four, and uh, so it's sizing up to be an outstanding opportunity for our guys, for our team, and just for the fans. BYU men's volleyball, we have the best fans around, hands down. And so it's an exciting home slate for sure. 11 road games, 15 home matches. As we've mentioned, we're with Sean Olmstead, the head volleyball coach of BYU, breaking down and releasing the 2017 schedule. I know that you generally want to have an opportunity to get in, in the venue where the Final Four is played. It's going to be at Ohio State this year. Um, that didn't materialize. What happened there? You know, we tried to actually match up with uh, – there was an opportunity for us to play them all also on another uh, opportunity, and it just didn't work out. We were going to go uh, – we were talking with a, a team that was hosting sort of a tournament format, and we would have matched up with those guys. So we really, really wanted to, and maybe um, – with me being a newer head coach, when you know you're going to host the Final Four, there's teams that are kind of knocking at your door to get in that venue. And I would imagine fr from the feedback I did get and uh, talking uh, to some people that it was it was kind of booked up out, uh, you know, years a, years a while years. ago, you know. And so we can do better, um, <laughs> you know, as we learn of the new locations and doing our best to – it'd be nice to get on site, get in there. But, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a great opportunity for us to, you know, if we can do the right things and play the right level, get out there and uh, get to play in that venue. There's about a minute left. Uh, you played in Vegas. You're going back to Vegas. Yeah, we're going um, back to Vegas. Yeah, so you, you played uh, some matches against Long Beach State and Lewis and, and uh, semi-pro team named Blizzard. You're playing Pepperdine this weekend. What are you seeing from this team that returns a lot of guys from last year? Yeah, no, I'm seeing a – just a great group that's uh, really coming together as a team, uh, figuring out a few things. You know, we lost, a, although we didn't lose a, a handful of guys that were on the court playing the entire time, we lost just a great group of, you know, leaderships and a, and a big part of our team. So we're trying to, the guys are kind of fitting into their roles and feeling out uh, this new team and this new group. And so it's exciting to watch these guys progress and it's exciting to watch uh, them learn every day and kind of figure out their new roles uh, as it relates to the team and trying to figure out how we as a staff can, you know, support them the best and push them and, and help them uh, reach their goals. If you're in Vegas uh, this weekend, you can watch the Cougars play Pepperdine uh, at the West Career and Technical Academy in Vegas, 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific time. So yep. check out the Cougars. Yeah. Can't wait to see uh, the new team shoes and your shoe collection on display, Sean. Always. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs>